Hey guys, this is Man Shark Sub LPs. I'm Sub, this is Crusader Kings 2, and this, as I hit the start button on my timer, is Millennia in the Making Episode 151, Take 5. <sighs> We're currently playing as Kaiser Enzo, the Great of Holy Roman Empire. He's the son of Kaiser Arnold the Great, who himself is the grandson of Kaiser Wilhelm III. We're involved in two wars. Uh, the first one, which is a nice little pleasant war down here in Nubia. I'm just going to keep ordering them around like that. We're going to win that, and it's for this guy's claim on Nubia, so it'll get us all of Nubia as he's our vassal. All good there. <sighs> we also are at war here against the battered Sultanate for the Raj, or Duchy, of Bakar. The last four times, or three times that I have won this war, it has crashed. The one time it did not crash, I forgot to start recording. So, let's get underway, and we're going to go up considerably in speed, because I am sick as hell of this happening. So we're at four times speed. Oh, and our court chaplain has found a philosopher who will give us 50 culture tech for 1400 gold. We're going to take that. Ah, oh, it was seven a little bit earlier than it did last time. The Scourge arrives! You would not believe how many Warcraft jokes I have run out of here, so let's just take that whole thing as happening. My liege, the Great Kargan has dispatched a numberless horde of barbarian horsemen against the lands of Central Asia and Eastern Persia. Appearing in bulk, the heathen armies seem intent on conquering the Muslim world. The Mahometans had it coming. Now that's a war against Kiva. Right there. For Kiva. We're not going to take advantage of that just yet. Or really involve ourselves in any way. We're just going to try and get our troops around. See, the time is really just ticking up really fast. Just going to try and get our troops around Shaun here. Take out this army win this war. Nice and quick, so that if it does bugger up I won't have to restart a whole 50 minute episode. Thank you. Tripolitania converted, that's good. <clears throat> Wonderful. We're also just taking some places because we won't actually have enough just by defeating all of those forces. Messages, thank you. And we're actually not going to look at the Mongols too much until this war is over. Because, yeah. I just want this war to be over. And I don't think anybody could really fault me there. But while I want the war to be over, I want this entire army destroyed. So let's uh let's get into it. Battles on. Yep, we outclass them. We will swiftly defeat them. <coughs> Excuse me. We're not going to release any peasants. Uh, we have rebels in for Calquir. Just all the way over here. Right, well, I'm actually going to not worry about them at the moment, but what I'll end up doing is shipping this army down to deal with them. Because I'm kind of sick of Ireland right now, we'll get this eventually just through random assassination. Well, targeted assassination, really. Yep, wonderful, wiped you out. Well, not wiped out, I'm going to have to follow them somewhere. Up here, that's fine. We do have 100% war score, but I am trying to wipe this army out deliberately. Come on, tick up, tick up. Thank you, thank you. Very good.
Yep, okay, and that war is over. Now, he has centers, let's just get rid of this ungodly speed. I'm going to dismiss that truce message, it was with the Grand Master of some place that no longer has troops. I'm going to go to Family Trade Zones, I'm going to focus on the Sahara, and I'm going to get rid of the Demence part from my outlier, and any messages I may have. And I'm going to accept his offer. Well, we haven't frozen yet. We didn't freeze. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Let's go back to the Independent Realms map. Yep, you can see we've taken this province. <clears throat> Very good. Ah, now we just gotta hope that we don't fuck up for the rest of the 50 minutes, huh? Alright, good, 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 good. This is wonderful. Uh, troops should move. We're just gonna move them like that. Just so that we're in position in case something happens with the Batids. Because this guy is not the most well-liked individual in his realm. Which is fine. You know what, I'm going to abandon this assassination plot. Because there are more important things to do. The Mongols, in particular. So, the very first thing I want to do is try and assassinate the Mongol Kargan. This didn't do too badly last time. But before we actually do that, we have to distribute some lands. Let's, uh, let's get on that. So the capital duchy, or the capital t county of the duchy is Bacar. But there was at least one other place which had a barony in it. Uh, a roar on the other side of the river Indus. But before I forget, let's form the duchy. Thank you. We will give a roar to this guy, Carloman. Thank you. And let's see, Berthold is not that great. Amadeus is pretty good, except for his diplomacy, but you know, whatever. And we give him that duchy. There we go. Those guys are moving off to do whatever they have to do. Have you declared war yet? Yes, you have. Wonderful. I am going to join in on King Ordolf's war for Kuban which is that place down there. And I will hopefully win it for him, because he's usually fairly bad at winning this war. And let's get some ships. that be enough ships? No, we're short 30. Are we still short 30 or are we just short a little bit less than 30? Short by 3. That's alright. Send them on over. They'll get there fairly handily. Now, <clears throat> we've got a bit of money. We've got a bit of retinue cap. So, let's build ourselves another army. We need 18 shock. And we need 15 skirmish, which brings the total here up to 33. I believe it will have enough for that. Oh, it's going to be tight. That's what she said. We're just short by 6 gold. We're no longer short. There we go. Gather up. Thank you. Send him down to Salzburg. Ha, ah, right. These fleets should all s almost be stopping moving. Come on. I've inherited the Duchy of Gandhara. I guess the, um... Pff, the current Duke died. Is there a barony in there? There's a barony at this one. 
You, how are you? Go hard. You're good. You'll do. Grant land the title, the Duchy of Gandhara. Sort it. Now that's also given us a... Honestly, a fair amount of... Army. Part of it was a retinue. It was all... It was all... Sorry, it was not retinue at all. All of it was levies. That's alright. See if we can inspire... Oh good, his spy master this time. We'll join in the plot. Now, by doing this, we may be cutting down on his available general pool. It's kind of weird how this works. But if he dies, it goes to just one of his other generals. Which is fine. I mean, it's not great because his other generals are better than him at martial stuff. But, yeah, the leadership of the Ilkhanate goes to another guy. And I don't believe that guy has access to the... Where, where were we? I don't believe that that guy has access to the 33 courtiers here, most of whom are generals. And really good generals. <clears throat> so I'm hoping that this murder plot happens swiftly before he wins the Kievan battle. Otherwise there's a slight issue with things. Anyway, over here in Azov, that's why guy isn't doing too great, but we'll fix that up fairly quickly. By taking the war goal for him. Our fleet is assembled, by the way. Put him in. Ship him around to province. And I'm just not going to be very concerned about Ireland for the moment. Uh, just attack that place, you'll be fine. Thank you. These guys are moving on the 30th of March. They're headed to Kasugia, which is down here. Oh, that's fortunate, because what I will do is fake a move. Not going to burn down anything. That should stop them from moving and start them trying to move somewhere else, which they will not get to in time. Perfect. We'll just wait a little bit longer so that we can get that in. Uh, good, we've got an attempt on the Kargan's life occurring. Hopefully it goes off without a hitch. Send these guys over to resolve itself. Ah, siege down here, that's right, we were attacking Nubia. Now when we win this war in Nubia, I want you guys to pay attention to something which really proves that the issue is with the Dements, not with just gaining a fuck ton of land at one time. Okay, that battle is over. Perfect. <clears throat> so we've basically just won that war for Elenia, as we should have. So let's just take that mosque, that gives us 94%, not enough yet. But it will be shortly. Good, we killed the Kargan. Unfortunately, people found out. That's alright, so now the car the Ilkhanate still exists. But this guy has taken control. He actually likes me because we sent him a gift to help him out with things. Now, we can't murder him. But note, his court size has gone down to seven. He has himself, and he's not very good at military, like he's above average, but he's not amazing. Uh, himself this guy, this guy, one, two, three, four. He's only got four military commanders. Who we're going to try to pop. Okay, this guy won't get popped, that's fine. I'm going to try and kill as many of his military commanders as possible because that's one way in which he's just OP. Essentially. Well, this guy's poppable. Yeah, the Kargan himself will join in. <clears throat> we take out as many of his guys as possible, even though he's only got a guy here with nine military leading, a f leading an army. It will help us a lot. Captain Yake, 
Does he even have a Captain Yake in his court? He doesn't, so he's hired mercenaries. Let's see if we can find Yake. No, what about Captain? Can we get Captains? Apparently not. Well, that's irritating. Yeek, it is, not Yake. Yeek, search all. Uh, we should be looking at age here. So, yes, for Captain of the Passion Eggs. Really a very, very capable man. Um, I'm going to mark him as Al of Interest because we may have to kill him at some point. Interesting, though, he's Orthodox and he's, uh, helping them out. That's a little odd, isn't it? Yeah. Ah oh, well, we'll still mark him of interest so that... Oh, and we should unmark this guy. But we'll keep Yeek here marked as interest, interesting so that we can off him if the case comes. Okay, we won that war in Elenia for our bro. That's good. So we're just trying to set up a thing where we have two armies near each other at all times. Because that way an army can't get overwhelmed and destroyed by the Mongols. Okay, let's win this war in Nubia. 100% war score? Now. No lag, nothing. No change in any sort of fashion like that. And we're going to give this guy the Duke of Elodia as a vassal because he would have wanted it. And that's formed that place up nicely. These guys apparently need a new boss. And they can come up to here. Because that's where I'll be sending this army when we get the knight retinues to fill it out. We need about 1500 gold and some tech points ooh I would like these in I guess either economy or culture would be nice but I'd prefer it in culture it went to military that's fine I guess we'll eventually need to get that up huh that's pretty much what she said as well we do have another title we can get. The Kingdom of Signed, right. Because we won that holy war. And managed to win it without the game crashing. Done. Any disruption in the Empire, my friend? No? Oh, that's annoying. Hmm. How goes the fight? 53%. Now, I'm not go I I am eventually going to take Ital here off the current holder of Kiva. But not right now, because what will happen is when the Mongols win, this will become Cumania. It will stop being Kiva. And well, that nulls our war with them for reasons, which doesn't make any sense to me. But that's what happens, so we just wanna not do that. Okay, this fleet should almost be there. Come on, guys. Chop, chop, and all that. Are we losing money? No, we're actually making it. Okay, fleet can go home. The army can head up here. Now, they'll probably take a while to get there, and eventually, and I believe the peasants will get chased out instead of engaged. Yeah, we have a Jewish exile called Shinoi. Where are you, Shinoi? There you are. Yeah, you're a pretty good chancellor. It's just a shame that, you know, you have the usual Jewish penalties and zealous as well. Oh, we're actually going to catch this guy. I'm impressed. I'll catch him with some other guys. 
but we should wipe him out from this fight. And that's as good as catching him ourselves. Yes, thank you. This army is going to stay on this side of the map. We're going to just sit in province. And we're going to do that in case we have any rebellions during this little issue with the Mongols. <clears throat> and the Okanet has won. Congratulations, buddy. He's now got a bunch of vassals and courtiers. Are we still murdering that guy? Yes, we are. And we've actually got better chances of doing it now. Because we can hire more dudes. And this is pretty much what we're going to be doing for a while with the Mongols. Murdering their guys. You know, we probably shouldn't murder this guy. He's not that good a military commander, is he? So let's find one who is a good military commander. Who isn't the boss himself. His heir? His heir isn't that good. He doesn't have any um, wives yet, so that's an issue. This guy has 27 and 98% plot power potential. <clears throat> so maybe we can hire somebody else. Yep, we certainly can. We'll hire a few other people. Hire as many as we can, actually. Money, money is no object, my friends. Money is literally no object. Well, it, we've only got a limited amount of it, but because most of these guys are new rulers of places, they'll accept the minimum bribe of 20 gold. Well, some of them will. Eh, yeah, we'll keep on getting guys. Oh, that guy's a bit expensive. Just as many as we can. And I think this one guy down here, the mayor of Kiva, will be the last. Done. So that's a lot of people who can join in. <clears throat> and they'll stay bribed. Like, they'll stay with a positive opinion of me. You know, at this point. Oh, that was a bit of lag there. Now, we could declare on Cumania for Ital. We may. I'm not sure what the Mongols are going to do next. They can't declare on Kiva without taking the Truce Breaker penalty, which, honestly, he's probably not all that concerned with. What's he running under? Gavelkind. Oh! How much is an attempt on his life? 450. We may try to pay him out. And he personally holds most of these places. If we pay him out, then all of his holdings are just split. Okay, he declared a conquest of Karakum on the Sharazids. Wait. A conquest of Karakum? That's not Afghanistan, surely! Ah, but he declared it on the Sharazids, right? Not the... Yep, okay. So he's declared his little con conquest on the Sharazids for Karakum. Is that seriously what, what Afghanistan is? Like that area there? Wait, no, it can't be, it can't be. That's Karakum there. It's not a kingdom, it's a... I'm not sure if he's done it for the entirety of this area or just this one province. Either way, I won't put him in contact with us, so that's good for us. Alright guys, everything's basically on hold for the moment. You guys need to come up this way. I'm going to put these guys up here just in case. Just 
just in case things get weird. Where's my army from down here? There you are, you're still making your way over, that's fine. We don't have enough money for those guys yet. So I'm going to send these guys over. More boats! Eleven, really? Come on guys, you're supposed to be trade republics! Well, some of you aren't. Some of you are, some of you aren't. Okay, that's 171 ships. It's an extra 23. There, that'll do. I mean, it should be enough, right? Yep, 248, it's more than enough. So we'll send this army over to, you know, the east. While this army, which is growing here, can, you know, be our police force. Uh. Alright, Cumania. The main thing we need to avoid is for the Ilkhana to get enough land that it doesn't need to worry about its stacks, like its doom stacks that it acquired. We don't even have a Cassus Belli for war in him yet. And we're not going to get one. I'm not going to ask for one. Now, the other issue here is that because he's Tengri, if we declare a holy war on Tengri, he can join in. Not a great thing for it like to happen. But he will continually tribally invade other places. So, bugger it, we're just gonna go with it. Hi, Chief. Ittle, please. Now, with Ittle, we're not going to end this war before the end of the episode because I am paranoid as hell about ending Holy Wars now. Seriously, it, it's been hell all day with this. Just not, not great. Ah, uh, flatter and serve. The mayor was asking for less tax. Like, really, guys? Less tax? You don't pay that much, do you? Uh, they pay a large tax, but they don't need to provide any men, so they should be, you know, happy with that. No, never happy, though. Peasant Revolt in Tigris. That's just down here. It's handleable. A lot of guys there. Not going to get too worried, though. I doubt that Cumania is going to call in the Mongols, because, well... They should really hate the Mongols right now. Let's see if we can actually check that. That was a thing, wasn't it? Go to Character Relations. Search all. Get rid of the Yake thing. Why can't I see whether you like the Mongols or not? Ah, there we go. So yeah, here's a minus two opinion of me. There's a 27 opinion of the Mongol guy. That's really strange. Ah, oh, the Golden Horde guy is still kicking around as well. He doesn't even have a court. It's just him, so he's complete... Unless he gets 450 gold, he is completely unassassinatable. This guy has a 23-47 chance. If we moved our Spymaster here, that would go up to a 33. It might be worth it when we get to it he's still fairly young, and now he has a wife. Hmm. A wife who we're going to bribe and invite to a plot. Which I would hope would fire fairly soon, because we've got a lot of those to go through. Castle Ball's getting built. We're going to have to put the uh, works projects on hold for a little bit, guys. I'm, I'm sorry to say. Get on the boat, and I'm going to ship you over to there. And from there you can walk. So 
So Yak, you don't appear that like you've been hired by anybody. Hmm. Now we could of course just grab these random dudes out of the, you know, Kargan's court. Like, maybe not as Marshal, but say this guy? Eh. And be all like, okay, let's pay fifty gold for an assassination. But if we're caught, the Kargan will murder us. They just straight up kill us. And I would like to remain alive while I deal with him. Ah, good. So that's a Cumanian, a Cumanian army there, but we're not threatened by them in any way. Excuse me. There's 15,000 Mongols. The Sharazid will not let us join in. Which is irritating. <laughs> There's nobody in his court who will marry anybody in our court. and find some claimants and you know just use them as an excuse to declare war on him and just run amok and try and kill his armies but the attrition will kill us that's one reason why the mongols are much more dangerous than the aztecs the mongols have attrition on their side seriously you can i bribe you out yep bribe this guy out because he's blackmailed the king of arabia to join his faction so when he goes, the King of Arabia goes. The Pope's kind of being a bit of a dick. But yeah, see, now the King of Arabia is in charge of the Independence Faction, he will probably stop that fairly shortly. I say. Not yet, obviously. You know, if that's how big the Mongol stack is, or if there are multiple stacks of that, we should be fine. I mean, the main issue here, you can see they have... I'm pointing at the screen. 1680 light infantry, 680 heavy infantry, 20 pikemen... Uh, 4,800 4, light cavalry, 142 heavy cavalry, 36 archers, and 8,000 special troops. Those special troops? Horse archers. Lethal as anything. We would like to avoid fighting too many of them at once. just a thing, you know, be sensible, don't fight too many guys. Like, don't try and take too many guys on at once. Actually, the way I handled the Mongols in my last game was perfect. There was only one province, we didn't have this much of a map at this point, but they, they took the one or two or three provinces that they were after, and then buggered off up north to hit Cumania. I came into the Holy War, wiped their lands out. Nothing they could do. Well, they could have probably left a defensive retinue, but you know. Finnmark has decided to have an uprising. That is irritating as shit because of where Finnmark is. Alright, guys, let's see if we can gather some troops up. Some there, some there, some down here. Come on. Come on, give me some sugar. No? You guys have no troops? That is just bizarre. Luckily we don't need that many, but we're going to need more than that. Got any down here? In, you know, the Russian regions? 
I mean, I ain't in a hurry to do anything, but I'd prefer it. There we go. That should be fine. That'll be enough troops. They are trying to move into Kemi, though. So that's an issue. When will they get there? The 6th of January. Well, they're not going to stop that move. Okay, just before they complete that move, I'm going to put these guys down. And these guys can go down as well, because they're not important. These guys can move to there. And the rest of you... Like that. Whoops, I was holding down ALT for boats, that's not how we work here. Can go there. And if these guys can't make it out in time, let's see if we can give them a planner. If we've got any planners. We do have a planner, he is currently leading troops in Catanzaro, that's nothing that I care about. So maybe if we're lucky, these guys will recover enough morale to evade these guys, but not looking good, I gotta say. Not looking good. Uh, my son Gerlach would like to be gregarious. I'm fine with that. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get above above the 6th anyway. Even though we are ticking down. Alright. Shrewsbury! Great. And Sweden is now... Sweden has become du jour part of the HRE. There is a revolt in Shrewsbury of a few thousand men. So we'll just raise up a few thousand of our own. <coughs> Excuse me. Looks good. Send them over here. Uh, any more that we can get just from up here, just to make the thing completely beyond doubt? Sure, just like that. Alright. Let's put these guys down. And they're going to stop their move. That's wonderful. Alright. Okay, so there's at least two stacks of 15,000. He's leading somewhere. Uh, can we just kill his marshal already? Come on, we've got so much plot power here. I mean, really. And we've got enough money that we should finish this army up. So we need nine night retinues. Perfect. Just enough. Send them on over into Salzburg and everything is good. And you know, I'm thinking we can actually send that army over to help out with the Mongols. We've got a police force, it's called Levies. Fucking Finnmark though, really? Is like the most annoying thing. You know what, I'll raise those troops up there. Yeah, see if I can now. Assholes. How's our little war down here going? It's coming along swimmingly. We're not even trying to press it too much. And the Mongols have actually made no current... Oh, okay, so there's what we're talking about with death stacks. They've got... Three lots of 15,000 here, and one lot of 20,000 there. So that's what, 65,000? That's... we can deal with that. The only issue is that supply limits us a bit. See, the Mongols should only have 23,000 worth of supply there. They've got 45,000 guys there, but they're not taking any attrition, because Mongols are cheating bastards. 
There we go. There's a war up in Shrewsbury. Ah, yes, quite nice, quite nice. Uh, let's give you some commanders who don't really like me. Yeah, why not? They don't have to be good, it's only a peasant rebellion. They just have to not suck. And this one in Finnmark is just going to take forever to get together. Ah, uh, good. Our fleet landed, so we'll get rid of the fleet and send our dudes up here. And this rebellion down here has tried running away pretty well, to be honest. So we're going to try and head them off. And then go and smash them. Now that I've seen that the Mongols have about 65,000 troops on average, I would kind of, I kind of feel like I should group up in bunches of three instead of bunches of two. So we'll look into that. It all really depends where they're going to come at us from. And currently they're not going to have any borders with us. That little battle is over. Thank you very much. Uh, you can head up here. Where was that other army going? There. Perfect. I'm not anticipating them coming down into India at us. And if they do, we'll have a warning because they'll have to hit Kabulistan first. So I'm going to send this army here, around like so. I'm going to take attrition going through that province, so I'm going to send them around like so. That army can go there, and this army here can go in like that. And then, this army here, our grand new army, which has managed to fuck up its retinue placement. There we are. Beautiful after we just give him some commanders who aren't the Duke of Jumpland because he's a coward I don't understand why these people get such high military scores and then just fail Alarm, cert, cert Sert, that sounds like some place where I'd have, I would have troops. Tier Novo, though? Surely not. Okay, and they will go up here to Cumania. In case he comes up through Cumania. Those are generally the two options that he'll take. Either up through the steppes, or through, you know, not exactly the Levant area, but the Middle East. Okay, I just want to check on my proper armies, just to see if they've all still got leaders. Because that is critical. Uh, attack that place, we'll work it out in a moment. Yep, you've all still got leaders, head that way, thank you. That was the army of Duke Johann II. You guys all still have leaders, wonderful. That was Dobromir's army, and this army there is good. Right. Exceptional. And I think we didn't exactly win a battle there, but we're going to help people win a battle. Oh, uh, no. You need to go that way. They're up there now. Somehow. And they will apparently beat me to that place but lose to, you know, this other army. Good, good. Seriously, stab on already. This is not a tough thing for you to do. The truce is expiring with this guy, who is a member of the Petit Empire, but not the leader of it. Now, with this... Mongol conquest of Karakum. I think that's just going to be a single province thing. Because 
the the duchy is Dehistan. The kingdom is still Kiva. So it may be because he doesn't have the prestige. Because you need, I believe, 500 prestige to have the thing fire. So he might have made the ch choice not to take that hit. But the interesting thing here, here is uh, Vashab, or Vashab here, his host is already at war for the place. So even if a Mongol beats down all of these places, I don't think he'll get that province. Which is weird. Ah well. However it works. I would honestly really like to be able to get in on that war. Just so that I could, you know, fuck with them. I'm just going to check to see if there are any claimants who will move to my place. Because if there are any, we can legitimately have a war with him. And it will be an aggressive war on our part, which means we won't lose anything if we lose. Apart from a bit of prestige and, you know, men, and then he'll probably insta-declare on us. But it's not such a big thing, I feel. Yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't appear like we've got any legitimate claimants who will move to our realm. Sucks. Ah, well. We just have to deal with it. Finnmark Rebellion is annoying, but I believe we've got enough men to move in and deal with it. Find some guys who don't like me, who are half decent at military stuff. Yeah, bugger it. Let's just find some people who are unoccupied. You. No, you're a coward. Can't have cowards. Ah, my eunuch. Well, somebody's eunuch. How's Shrewsbury going? Ah, if they manage to move back to Shrewsbury. Benedicta wants to know why why we let that peasant off from his poaching. Ah, uh, because he needed the deer more than me. She is now kind. Hmm. Battle of Shrewsbury is over. They're headed to Worcester. So let's just chase him down there. We'll get there fairly quickly. Contribute a bit. And by contribute, I mean wipe the other guys out completely and win that war. Thereby getting these guys out. Thank you. Now, we've still got the Finnmark Rebellion and we've still got the Holy War over here. Let's press this Holy War because we are coming up to the end of the episode. So let's press it so that I can just get on and declare the victory at the end of next episode. Or the start of next episode. Yeah, what's well, a different start end? Seriously, why why has this guy not died yet? Just come on, guys. Fifty-three percent. Just go through it. I don't think that this. The Duchy of Italy will have such a huge issue because there aren't so many holdings. And as I click around, that gives uh, the lie away. There do appear to be a few holdings in the area. A truce is running out of the Ecumenical Patriarch, who holds no lands, so don't care. Someone died. Great. that. Excellent. Now we're going to send our guys over there. Why not? It's not like this next particular holding. Well, that's going to get us what we need, isn't it? He 
Yes, it is. Thank you. We're not declaring victory. We're just moving our troops into positive locations. <clears throat> However, let's try and deal with these goddamn rebels. I'm sick of them. I'm sick of rebels. You know, it wouldn't be too bad if a Mongol would join in on the holy war thing, because I'm confident that I can wipe out like his armies one by one. Ooh, what are you doing, my friend? Why are you down here? Ah, he's coming for this place. I wonder if they've actually taken attrition. You? Yeah, keep your move up. It says that they should be taking attrition, but I'm not sure if they are. They're not anymore. Hmm. Weird. Oh, let's not worry too much about it. They're only 4% in favour. This host that's you know, bumming around the place must be pretty strong, because they should be at war as well. Ah, oh, no, that's not how it works. They wouldn't be at war. Hmm. Very interesting. You kid, are you, you over it yet? No. Fine. Kill one kid's parents, you know. Hate you forever. Now, let me see. I'm going to keep this army here, just because they're minding the Chilinids. Or should I send them around? I'll, s I'll ship them around. I'm not going to send them around, because they'll take attrition. So we're going to need a fair number of ships yet again. How many is that? 190, so we need 20 more. Done. And we'll just ship them around to here. Yeah, actually, so this army can come back. Why are they going through the attrition provinces? <sighs> Whatever. Yeah, so they can come back and deal with things. <clears throat> Because I'm a little wary about what the Yokanid is doing here. Yeah, so that's at least 60,000 troops. Which, if we weren't as big as we are, that would be such a huge worry. I mean, 60,000 troops popping up? I mean, I'm not sure how many troops Kiva had at the time. But, like, right now, Cumania only has 14,000. Hell, nobody else has as many troops as Eokarnet does. Apart from us. Yeah, they're the second highest. They have 114,983 1, troops. It's just bizarre. They also have a lot of gold. And the reason for them having so much gold is because if they lose, they have to pay out money. And if you are in debt, you can't declare war. So the devs have given them enough money so that they can lose a couple of times and keep on declaring. Which, you know, li little uh, sort of thing, but... I guess that does need to be a challenge at some point, but if we hadn't blobbed as hard as we could have, the Mongols would be a massive problem. <clears throat> Admittedly, most of what they do is just eat up like this part of the map, so if we're over in Europe, we're fine. But yeah, yeah, it can be a real issue. There's this battle. Ah, good, good, we've finally joined up here. Let's win this peasant revolt and maybe we'll be done with it at that point. some of them will escape. Yep. 
but we'll chase him down into Cola. They'll get there very quickly. They must have been already prepping that move. But we will chase them down. Ten percent in favor. It's a very slow battle for them. Or war. Now I see 75. Well, they've got 110,000, so they've got others hanging around somewhere. Up here, apparently. I hope this particular Cassus Belli that they're using only is for this one county, and it doesn't give them everything that they occupy, because that would get really insane. Like, we're going to have a massive amount of trouble in that case, because then they'll be down here as well as up here, and all over the place, really. It'll be a massive patchwork. <coughs> Though, hopefully, at that point, they declare war on the Corbidids so that we can get in and do a little holy warring ourselves. Why are you taking attrition? Uh, you're moving down to Picard. Good. Join together. Head on up to Tripoli. And then I'll have you move up to here. <coughs> ah, this guy told everybody that we're going to try and kill this guy. Doesn't matter as long as we actually get the kill off. Like, seriously. This guy needs to die so hard. So, yeah, I do feel that by us dealing with... Ah, thank you. By us dealing with the... what you calls it? The Khan like that, we've given him a lot of... Like, we've removed a lot of the commanders that usually cause us huge problems with the Mongols. We won that rebellion in Finnmark, by the way. We also lost our Marshal. You, you're leading troops in the Gulf of Sidri, you're too... Most of these guys are too important. Let's take this guy. Train troops. Oberbayern. Did he land in Oberbayern? I don't feel like he did. There we go. Yes. These troops are moving up quite nicely, that's all good. These guys are fine. They're just sitting there. Yeah, I really wish that I had some reason to go to war with the Mongols. Just so that I could sort of come up here and beat these armies up. Because I can handle these two armies of this lot, and there's no way anybody would reinforce in that length of time. And a similar thing here, I could probably handle these armies of this lot, and that sort of thing. Anyway, we're just going to have to deal with the hands that we're being dealt. So let's call an end to the episode there. Hopefully it's recorded properly, but if you've got any questions or comments, please let me know. I'd be happy to respond to them. If you liked the video, go ahead and give it a like, and if you would enjoy seeing more, please subscribe. In the meantime, though, I've been Sub. You have been yourselves. Later.